Hey everyone, and welcome to Cannabis Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be going over three simple ways to water your cannabis plants automatically so you can know this too. So this video came about because I had to go out of town for a week and wanted a simple way to keep my plants from dying. I looked at a couple of advanced options such as working with timers and slow drip systems, but the cost, complexity, and risk of not having worked with them before just wasn't worth it for a one-time use situation. So I was looking into a couple more simple options. And here, I'll be covering three of the most common ones. First, we have a glass water globe. They're pretty simple to use, although fragile. You just fill it up with water, stick it in wet soil, and then when the soil dries over time, it'll pull the water from the globe. These are the most expensive option out of the three, although still pretty cheap at generally about $10 per globe, and they work well as long as the opening doesn't get clogged with soil when you first insert it into the pot, which happened to me once. So I'd recommend using a stick first to poke a hole into the soil before inserting it in to prevent this from happening. Second, we have a drip water spike. These water spikes will require a water bottle attached to the top of the spike. And then with the tab, you can adjust how often water drips from the top of the spike into the soil. So unlike the water globe, the water will be exposed to the outside environment. I thought this would be an issue at first, since an open water source outside of the plant sounds like it could attract animals, birds, and insects. But after trying it out, the area of exposed water is pretty small, so it doesn't seem like this would be an issue at all. And because you can choose how large of a water bottle to use, as well as how fast the water drips out, this is the most customizable option out of the three, as well as being a great value at being a couple bucks a piece. Finally, we have the DIY option of just taking a water bottle, poking some holes into it, and then placing it on the soil. In a pinch, this is by far the easiest way to get water to the plants over time. Although when compared with the drip water spike system, it's actually more work, risk, and harder to control just for saving a few bucks. It can water for longer periods of time since you can use large gallon bottles that would be too heavy a place on a spike. But if you only need to water a plant for a week or less, I'd recommend spending a few bucks and just go with the drip watering spikes. So if you can't tell by now, out of the three options, my favorite is the drip watering spike. The water globes also work well, but even when using the large size globe, it just doesn't hold as much water as a large water bottle, and the costs are higher as well. It does look great though in a pot when compared to the other two options. So if you want something that's aesthetically pleasing, then I definitely can recommend going with a water globe. Otherwise, the drip water spikes are the way to go for a quick and easy way to water your plants for a few days automatically. And for those now wondering how much you need to water your plants, of course the canned answer is that it depends based on the size of the plant, weather, etc. However, more importantly, if you just want to keep your plant alive while out of town for a few days, a slow drip every couple of seconds is probably enough for most plants to stay alive. Cannabis is pretty drought resistant, so as long as it's getting a little bit of water, it can tough it out for a while. And that's it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about growing, harvesting, consuming, and of course, processing cannabis.